I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about symptoms of ringworm and diaper rash. Ringworm and diaper rash have one thing in common. They're both caused by types of fungus. Diaper rash is caused by a very specific species of fungus called Candida albicans. Uh, the most common reason to have diaper rash, of course, is that somebody's wearing diapers, although it's strongly related to the sort of jock itch that people who don't wear diapers can get any time the skin becomes consistently moist and warm in a given area. Now, when I'm looking at a diaper rash, I want to look and see, is it in the creases and folds, or is it really on the parts of the body that only touch the diaper? Because if it's restricted to those parts, it may not be a yeast rash at all. It may actually be a response to the diaper itself. Frequently changing types of diaper to a different brand will solve that kind of diaper rash. If, on the other hand, you see redness, bumps, and even a white cheesy substance in the folds of the skin, you know it's going to be a yeast. And you might try treating it with an over-the-counter medicine like Monistat or Vagisil, or your doctor can prescribe Nystatin to help get it under control. Distantly related to the yeast that causes diaper rash are the fungi that cause ringworm. Together, we call these tinea corporis on the body, tinea capitis on the head, tinea pedis on the foot, and uh, tinea cruris in the groin. These fungi often cause a spreading ring-like lesion with sort of clearing in the center. Now, they're not the only thing that do it, so if you start treating a ringworm lesion, notice after a few weeks it's not getting any better, be sure your doctor gets a look at it, because there are other things like eczema, psoriasis, and granuloma annulare that can look exactly the same to the naked eye, and your doctor or dermatologist can help figure out the difference. Talking about symptoms of ringworm and diaper rash, I'm Dr. David Hill.